Umarangkada na ang selebrasyon ng United Nations Month sa pagunguna ng UN team magsasanib pwersa ang pamahalaan academe, pribadong sektor at iba pang grupo para makabuo ng tugon sa iba't ibang development issues. Yan ang ulat ni Noel Talakay live. Noel. Dominic, isang art exhibit ang inilunsad kanina sa Manila Clock Tower Museum. Ito ay para, ay, ang layo nito ay para maipaliwanag ang 17 Sustainable Development Goals ng United Nations. Bahagi ito ng pagdiriwang ng United Nations Month ngayong buwan. Formal nang binuksan ang dalawang mural sa Manila Clock Tower Museums kaninang hapon. Isa sa mga mural ay may titulong pinalikas na nagpapakita sa pwersahang pagpapalayas ng isang Lumada family sa kanilang lupang sinilangan. Ito ay sumasalamin sa United Nations Sustainable Development Goals No. 10 na Reduce Inequality, United Nations Sustainable Development Goals No. 16 na Peace, Justice and Strong institution at United Nations Sustainable Development Goals number no. 15 na Life and Land. Isa naman sa mga uh, naka, ginawang mural ay may titulong uh, Tawid Dagat kung saan sumasalamin naman ito sa mga displaced refugees at migrants ng dahil sa kahirapan, kalamidad at karasan. Maliban sa United Nations Sustainable Development Goals number no. 16 na Peace, Justice and Strong Institution at United Nations Sustainable Development Goals number no. 15 na Life and Lands, ipinapaliwanag naman nito ang United Nations Sustainable Development Goals number no. 1 na No Poverty. Gagawin din isang education center ang Manila Clock Tower Museum para sa kapayapahan at klima. Tatawagin nila itong Peace and Climate Resell Art Education Center kung saan pang labing tatlo ang United, sa United Nations Sustainable Development Goals ang Climate Action. Kasabay nito ang pagbibigay pugay sa mga guro at indigenous people. Nakiisa dito ang ating pamalaan sa ngalan ni Presidential Communication Office Secretary Cesar Chavez ibinahagi ni PCS, PCO Under Secretary for Digital Media Service Emerald Ridao ang suporta ng kasalukuyang administrasyon sa nasabing makabuluhang aktibidad. Acknowledge the journey that led to this day. Some of you may already know, but for those who don't, before the COVID pandemic, it was actually Secretary Chavez and Mount Cecile who worked very closely for the SDGs Resiliart Initiative. And they were faced by significant challenges, of course, as the world changed during lockdown. But those obstacles only deepened the importance of this initiative. And as we celebrate United Nations Month, we continue to pay tribute to the world's teachers, indigenous peoples, and our senior citizens, while highlighting the crucial themes of disaster resilience, refugee experience, and cultural diversity through UNESCO's Dia del Galeón. Resolution. In this moment, I'd also like to recognize the essential power of communications in driving all of our collective initiatives. Dominic, ilan sa mga obra na makikita dito sa art exhibit ay ang obra ng mga Persons Deprived with Liberty o PDLs mula sa Manila City Jail at Lipa City. At dumalo rin ang ilang mga diplomats galing sa Malaysia, Cambodia, Thailand, Brazil, Morocco at uh, kasama na rin dito ang uh, Pilipinas. Dominic? Alright, maraming salamat, Noel Talagay.